All right, here is my Roven 45cc in my MCD XR5 Rally. As you can see, the car is pretty much stock. Only extras is the front chassis brace and the rear brace. Samba pipe used to be silenced. Um, I drilled out the baffles on the inside and I bored out the exhaust from the inside so it fits the Roven 45 port. I also made my own gasket, so no leaks. Not one leak whatsoever. Still needs a few upgrades, but I can't complain. No drivetrain issues. Engine does run at full power. No issues at all. Never had an issue with this engine. Also, as you can see, it's pretty dirty. I run it on grass, I run it on tarmac mostly. But this car, with this engine, is fast. I mean, I've seen ALX engines, RC Max engines in cars. They're fast. But, this is fast. Especially, maybe it's the MCD setup, but this engine in this car is a perfect combination. It's good for drifting, it's good for on-road, it's good for off-road. Um, yeah, there's not really much I can say about it, but... I am glad I have got my hands on a Roven 45cc. Obviously I've had this engine from new. A lot of people have given this engine bad reviews. But I haven't got one bad point. I mean, this engine has never let me down. Always runs, never cuts out. Doesn't get too hot. I haven't even mesh modded it yet. See, no mesh mod, not yet. I'll probably stick outwards on that. Um. But yeah, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube with, you know, that would put you off getting a Roven 45, but if you know what you're doing and you get your exhaust and the right carb, your engine will, want, will run fine. I've run this engine hard. It's had about, as you can see, it's had 2.1 hours of runtime on this engine. The only problem I've had is the plug that came with the engine lasted a day. Since then it's been fine, not one issue. No drivetrain problems, like I said. It does try, it does balloon your tires on tarmac. So you need to be careful, you need to know when to let off the throttle. But other than that, this is a great engine. Especially at the price, because you pay what, for like over a grand for a 46cc RC Max or something. I haven't had this next to any of those engines yet, but I am pretty sure someone's going to come in and say something. So what I'm thinking is anybody who's up for a race and local enough to me, tarmac or grass, drag race. As I'm not the best at driving these things yet, but in a straight line, I'll make a bet. So you name a price as long as not too much and we'll do it. I guarantee you this engine will either leave you or keep up with you. Doesn't matter what engine you got. I could be wrong, but that's the only way to find out. So anybody interested, let me know. But this is a great engine. Hey. All right, so I've just opened up all the windows. So I've got a little one running around. So I'm gonna give it a quick start and then I'm gonna shut it off just so you can hear. <coughs> the engine running. I'm probably gonna put her in the other room actually, so, you know, I don't wanna inhale in that smoke, not really. But give me a second, I'll be right back. So you can see, I do not use a power switch, I use Tamiya connectors. I replaced the switch with the light, the LED from the switch blade. I'm gonna give it a quick start and shut it off because I'm being harassed by a little gremlin. So here it goes. This engine starts pretty easily too. Three pulls with choke. my 
Roven 45.